people are talking about it. a lot of people are hyping it up and normally this is where i make the video and i'm like okay guys this is what everyone else is saying okay this is this is probably the reality or this is my opinion well i'm gonna try to say some different things but i'm gonna be completely honest here guys based on what they're saying you know i, I didn't get to play an nda and stuff um, but just based off of like every little thing that we're seeing now, uh, the trailers and the combat and the focus on PvP and the new remix to combat, um, man, I'm getting I'm getting kind of shook, guys. I'm getting a little bit excited here, uh, and it kind of scares me because I do like having that critical air. I, I kind of like being the villain of the MMO space. I, I, I do enjoy that. I like being like, you know what, Darkfall is kind of garbage. I mean, he had cool ideas, but you know, they gar and stuff like that. Um, but you know what, this this game might actually take what those games before it tried to do and attempted to do back on, man, they didn't have enough funding or they didn't have enough support, they didn't have enough uh, knowledge or experience developing a game like that. Uh, you know, it stumbled and, and fell a little bit. Uh, cool ideas, always, always cool ideas. Games like Darkfall and Dark Age of Camelot was really awesome too back in the day. And of course there's a new one coming out, but I'm just saying Ashes of Creation seems primed to be making a really unique game, obviously, which is why I got funded. Um, But like, it's also from what I'm seeing with the trailers, is executing it well. So they had one combat system and they were going with one design philosophy and then they changed it. And at first I was like, okay, we gotta see more of it. But like, guys, we're starting to see just a little bit more of it and it's exciting. Uh, and I love hearing all like the actual energy and excitement from the people who back the game, who are in the test and testing the game. And yeah, they can't show footage. They can only talk. So like, yeah. They're gonna be ranting and rambling and uh, kind of spitting at the screen there, you know, being energetic and excited. Naturally, naturally, obviously they're biased, but like, it's infectious. It is really cool to jump on bandwagons. And I'm not saying I'm jumping on a bandwagon, but what I am saying is that I I think I'm starting to get dragged along just a little bit. Uh, the trailers are exciting, mainly, mainly because of the PvP aspect. Now, if we actually look at the trailers and we, if we look at the gameplay and from what people are saying, uh, it sounds a lot like Kind of what I assumed it would be like, uh, which is going to be a lot like these brawler games. These, ah the, oh man, there's just like, there's a whole genre of game that basically nobody plays. Um, and I talked about those a little bit. I, I guess you could say like chivalry-like games or uh, chivalry's successor, which didn't succeed by the way, uh, Mirage, Arcane Warfare. More games like that, uh, but actually faster paced, more explosive, actually engaging and mechanically more complicated because it's it's encased in an MMO shell. So already we knew about Ashes of Creation. It was gonna have, you know, a sandbox world and all these other gimmick, 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 gimmick. But when we just look at the gameplay and we just look at, okay, we're gonna be PVP. It's a PVP focused game. Here's the PVP. And that's the first thing they're showing. They're really, you know, showing Shoveling that out there and throwing that out there and it's like really sexy looking that's getting me exciting man i'm 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 honestly I, okay I, i'm just gonna say i'm on board I, I think i think i'm on board i think that as long as the gameplay looks like this which almost kind of has like some warframey vibes it actually reminds me of rend a little bit a mix of warframe and rend and I, i'm pretty sure they have that inspiration i'm pretty sure they're like hey warframe's a kind of cool game can we like take some of those ideas that you know that fast-paced nature and maybe you know the third person action camera and, and aim your spells and I don't know, um, you know, put that into a PvP, a PvEVP game. It's looking pretty great. Now I still want to see more spells and I'm not saying go full Project Gorgon or something and have like really ridiculous nuanced spells, but like if we can get some really interesting fun stuff that's more than just your average blink, more than just your average fireball, I would really like that. Of course, that's what I said in my last video, but so far what we've seen is like still bare bones better than anything I've seen. And I, I'm going to reiterate this from the last video as well. Even in the last video they showed, which was super, super clean cut and, and didn't really show that much at all. Even in that last video, it still looked better than like anything else we have. Now, in terms of MMO combat, obviously, Black Desert Online looks pretty great. Elder Scrolls can even look pretty good and Guild Wars 2 has hit or miss for some people. But, you know, some MMOs do some things pretty cool. But I don't know, man. Ashes of Creation is really 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 it's got the lotion out and it's just massaging me baby i'm feeling it man my biscuits are getting buttered i think i want to jam to it now that's a lot of vague stuff that's just a lot of me gushing uh there's no information really now, now there's not there's not too much that we do know and the game could always flop the game could still be a laggy piece of shit which hey warframe is a cool action game but uh, the pvp is laggy uh there's a lot of games that could be good even like i said with uh like blade and soul or black desert those games are technically on paper good but if you live in the middle of nowhere in between servers and you have bad ping, it's bad. So I think that this gameplay is just the right pace with just the right control schemes and the just right flavor of spellages. You know, a lot of ground targeting, stuff like that. I think it could really work. Now you're still going to aim spells. Um, I don't know how they're going to, I don't know how it's going to work, you know, like uh, in full, if it's going to have, uh, maybe, maybe the game is going to feel laggy. Maybe the game will be laggy. I don't know that. But what I'm saying is like, um, my, my, my meter for like, should I be mean? Should I be harsh? Should I be critical? Has finally, 
Finally, I, it, it was tipping all this time. It was, you know, every piece of news, it, it was kind of tipping more and more in this direction. But finally, it's tipped over, guys. I am now of the opinion that, uh, well, this should be, this game deserves to be hyped up. Of course, that's my bias. I like PvP games, I like brawler games, arena games, stuff from like For Honor, Onward, Spectacle Fighters. I, I, li I like stuff like that. Of course, I can appreciate all genres. I can appreciate all MMOs, but this is my jam. Now, I'm also looking forward to New World, which is also going to be another sandbox PvP focused game, which has a unique uh, combat system. And I think they're going to pair well together and I'm going to be covering them. I'm going to be streaming them. But like this video, it, it's it's not here j just to say, hey, here's some news. Let me regurgitate that. This is actually even more worthless. This video is so worthless <laughs> unless you follow me. But what I'm saying is I'm happy. I'm really, really happy of what they're showing off and I'm happy of what people are saying. Of course, I understand there's bias, but I'm just saying. I'm happy with what they're saying. Um, now, I do want to ask your guys' opinion on, on the changes to Ashes of Creation. I'm pretty sure it's a much more welcome change with what we've seen with the videos. It looks so much more engaging. It looks more unique. And we haven't really seen this combat system, I think, in an MMO proper. Uh, not not done to this sort of explosivity since, um, man, since like Ark, you know, Ark Survival Evolved or a bunch of like survival games. Conan uh, had kind of an action -y game. But like, I mean, look at these spells. These spells are out of nowhere. These spells are ridiculous. Uh, and I think that's what really turns me on too. So uh, some games, they are action-y, but they, they're more gunplay or, you know, they're, they're more kind of low fantasy, uh, like Gloria Victus, Life is Feudal. And then we have games that are straight up high fantasy. They're ridiculous, like World of Warcraft, but they, they don't have many skill shots or something like that. And then we, we do have in-betweens. We have like Guild Wars. Uh, there was Wildstar, uh, which had a lot of skill shots and you know, well, rest in peace, Wildstar. But we did have games that mix and match different combat systems. But Ashes of Creation, I think, is doing something just a little bit, a little twist, uh, something kind of newish, newer. Um, and it, it has been done before in other games, but in MMOs and done properly, that is, yeah, uh, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't think so. Uh, but then again, a lot of people were hyped for games like Mortal Online. A lot of people were hyped for many action MMO. And then it turns out we get into the game and it's not that action-y or it was planned to be action-y and they kind of tone it down, which is happening actually with Crowfall at the moment. So we have to see how development turns and stuff. I'm still going to be critical. I'm still going to. I'm gonna still gonna point my finger and be like, hey, I don't I don't like how that looks and stuff like that. But like as of right now, I wanted to make a video where I say absolutely fucking nothing other than, hey guys, do you know how mean I am towards games all the time? Even this game, I've done multiple videos being pretty mean about this game. Well, here I am not saying sorry, but saying I think I've changed my mind. I think they have convinced me. And that's probably what they should do from now on is continue to focus on what the community is vocal about. And it's like, okay, you know, the combat system, let's change it. And now let's not just change it, but let's take the, you know, focus on that, really hone in on that and promote trailers of that and show it off and do testing on it, especially since it's a PvP based game. Uh, next, we're gonna have to see uh, raids. Maybe we're gonna have to see more dungeon play or the open world gameplay, the PvE VP and much, much more. And right now I'm saying I'm jumping on the hype train because I'm seeing how they responded to the community. I'm seeing how they're publishing the game. They're being pretty transparent. And even though there was a lot of shadiness and still is a lot of like there is a lot to critique about the uh, the shadiness of this game, especially being crowdfunded, especially with getting a publisher with my.com, things like that. But in the end, as we look into it and as they actually disclose the real relationships, the, the reality of the game, it, it really, it really, really is starting to seem, guys, that this game is made by MMO players who want to make a unique and interesting and fun MMO. And you know what? They got a ton of money for it and they're continuing to get a ton of money for it. So I think they're making the right choices. Yeah. At first, I was a little bit dubious, and I think all of us should still be curious about this game, but I think all of our needles should point just a little bit closer to hype now because of these testings, because of the trailers, and um, I don't know. If you, if you don't like it, let me know. Let me know what you don't like about it, what could go wrong, because I definitely know. Some things that can look amazing, but then when you actually play it online, oh man, uh, you know, that could change everything. So PUBG as an example. So let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comments below, friends and family. Yeah, worthless video. I'm sorry, but hopefully not a worthless opinion. I, I hate to say it, but I feel like there's...